Hello and welcome back. Today we have an exciting and educational video in store for you. We will explore the importance of strong passwords and web portal security. Join us as we delve into the world of cybersecurity tools and techniques such as GoBuster and Map Hydra and Burp Suit. Additionally, we will challenge ourselves with the thought-provoking hack the box questions, testing our knowledge along the way. Let's dive right in. Before we proceed any further, it is essential to emphasize that this video is strictly for educational purposes and it does not endorse or encourage any illegal activities. Now let's continue with our exploration. During the initial phase, I performed a standard NMAP scan to identify the open ports on the target host. As you can see on screen, port 80 is open and NMAP also indicates a specific domain redirection. To make this domain accessible, I added it to our host file. After making the necessary changes, I accessed the page and conducted a thorough investigation. Unfortunately, it appears that the page is well structured and doesn't reveal any significant vulnerabilities. There is a login portal, but it seems to be designed for a customer-only access. However, my curiosity led me to search for any potential privileged portals that could grant us access to the backend. I will be using their buster specifically targeting directories with uh, their flag. Initially, I have set the threat count to 80, which seems like it exceeded some limits, so I will uh, be adjusting the number of threads from 80 to 30. After a few seconds of scanning, we identified the presence of an slash admin page. At this point, I cancelled the scan and uh, proceeded to access this page to investigate further. As we explored this web portal, we encountered a login form requesting a username and a password. While attempting to access the system, I tried using the default credentials typically associated with the admin account, but none of them worked. In this case, I decided to uh, employ Perpsuit and Hydra. We will use Perpsuit to see exactly the requests that are being sent, and uh, we will use Hydra to brute force the credentials on this particular web page. When loading up Burpsuit, I chose the defaults uh, for any prompts that came up and uh, I just got the app up and running. As soon as the app loaded up, I just switched to the proxy tab and uh, switched on the intercept. Now we can configure Firefox to use this proxy. So we go to settings, then search for proxy and set it to manual as shown here. It is important to set up the IP address here to uh, localhost and the port 8080. Once this has been configured, as you can see here, when I refresh the page, the requests will show up on Burpsuit. Now I am going to try and log in with some credentials so that I can gather more information about the login request. As we can see highlighted here, we have the username and the password, which I have entered in the form, and uh, there also seems to be a cookie set up. I have tried a few times to ensure that nothing has changed in the request and as you can see only the password portion of the request has changed. Now we can feed this information into Hydra as follows. We will uh, specify the password list by using the capital P flag. We will uh, use the capital L flag to provide the list of usernames here as well. A small UNS to specify the hostname and the port for the particular server. And then we will also insert the HTTP POST form, since this is a POST request. Now comes the tricky part. We will need to add the path of where uh, the login page is located. In this case, it's on slash admin, followed by a colon. Here we can grab the key, username and password section from Burpsuit and replace the credentials which I have done manually with the placeholders so that Hydra can make use of them. We will also need to include the cookie and this can be retrieved from Burpsuit as shown here. When I was attempting to log on to the web form, I noticed that when the credentials are incorrect, I am getting some text back which includes incorrect in it. So I'm going to use uh, the capital F switch and include incorrect in it. Uh, this will uh, identify when the login was successful or not. Okay, so seems like we have finished formulating our command, so I'm just going to go ahead and run it. I noticed that uh, with all this information fed into Hydra, this is going to take a lot of time. Uh, so for the sake of 
keeping this video short, I have set the username statically to admin and used the password list which has only 10,000 uh, passwords in it. Periodically I was checking the form key and cookie details to minimize the risk of getting false results. Finally, after a couple of minutes, Hydra has managed to find the password. Just as a note here, I have added the dash capital F parameter to our command as well, so that Hydra stops as soon as it finds a valid credential. I will be using these credentials on the portal, and as you can see, we have successfully managed to get onto the admin portal for this web application. Now that we have explored the web application and strengthened our understanding of these amazing tools, it's time to head onto the Hack the Box portal to finalize this challenge. For the first question, I have unfortunately closed the terminal session, so I'm just going to do this really quickly and we can retrieve the version from it. In order to obtain the status code for uh, this particular web page, I am just going to go through it. So we open up Firefox, we uh, load up the developer tools by F12, and then we go to the Network Analyzer tab and we can start it, then browse to the page and um, we can see all the requests that are done. The first one was the actual code we're after, it's 302. For question number three, we can get uh, the domain of which uh, we were redirected to, and I'm just going to copy and paste this in as shown here. The file we are after in question number four is located in uh, slash etsy slash host, so we can go ahead and fill that in here like so. We have also used GoBuster as a tool to uh, brute force the directories and uh, the full URL I'm just going to copy and paste it in to avoid any typos. For the sixth question I'm just going to copy and paste the password we have managed to obtain via Hydra. And for the final question here we can just refer to the web application we managed to gain access to before and copy and paste in the flag from there. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Gaining insight into such tools that are out there will definitely help us protect ourselves from such attacks. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit like on the video. Thank you for viewing.